and uh, namaste everyone today we will see about uh, the other concept in the introduction of this lesson light so ray so generally ray indicates just a path of light so the path that is followed from the light we say that is a ray let me draw the ray so it's a straight line in in the middle you will have the arrow mark pointing so from here there will be source so it's directed from the source so let me put the definition in front of you a ray of light is the direction of the path followed by the light emitted from a source so it's a path followed by the light emitted from a source uh, most of the time a ray is imaginary so it is beyond our imagination just it's a simple indication of the direction of the path followed by the light next we have beams so beam is a bundle of rays so which are traveling in a particular direction so let me put this definition a beam so beam is a bundle or group of light rays moving in the same direction emitted by a source so beam is a bundle of rays when it comes for bundle uh, let me draw this bundles we have different types of beams so so such a beam in which the rays are parallel and directed in one way so such a beam is called parallel beam parallel beam and another type of beam another class type of beam so the light rays meet at a point these light rays are going to meet at a point so so this kind of beam is called convergent beam so when the light rays meet at a point that's a convergent beam let me draw this when the light rays coming from a point source so when they are emitted from a point source so they are directed away from a point so such a beam is called divergent beam so i'm going to draw this moving away from a single point this is divergent beam okay so beam is nothing but a group of rays traveling in a particular or moving in some direction or we can say the same direction so the next topic reflection so reflection of light you have been so this is very important phenomenon of light which is very much essential for us to see the objects that means light when it is striking the surface so bouncing back coming back into the same medium we call it as reflection generally it happens in the plane mirror where we see the images such a reflection is a perfect reflection so all the light rays are almost reflected from this plane or smooth surface like mirror so reflection is nothing but the phenomenon in which the light rays on striking a uh, polished smooth surface such as a mirror is sent back into the same medium from air the light rays which are uh, coming from an object strike the mirror surface and reflect back into the same air medium so in reflection we have two types a regular reflection and diffused reflection let me give a small idea on regular reflection so whenever we uh, okay regular reflection takes place from very smooth and highly polished surface just like a marble so this is a smooth surface on the top the down what i am drawing is nothing but the roughness generally we draw this to uh, represent a mirror so a mirror which is horizontal right now so i am going to draw some parallel beam of light rays being projected from outside onto the mirror so when these parallel beam of light rays strike the mirror so 
when these parallel beams strike the mirror so they get reflected back in such a way that the reflected beam is also parallel Okay, such a reflection is called regular reflection. Parallel beam of light striking the surface of a mirror or highly polished surface just like uh, marble, polished marbles or we can say the surface of still water. So when they strike, they get reflected back in such a way that the reflected light is also parallel. So, such a reflection is called a regular reflection. What happens in the regular reflection? This is a parallel beam, the incident beam and the reflected beam is also parallel. So, in this case, you will see the images of the objects. So, you see the image in the mirror, you see the images on still water surface, you can also see the images on the surface of the metals. So, all this happen uh, when there is a regular reflection taking place generally it happens from the surface of the mirrors from still waters from the surface of the metals polished marbles so all this a regular reflection takes place then in regular reflection you just see the image of an object you don't see generally we don't see the object here just we find the reflected image then irregular reflection generally this irregular reflection takes place from a rough surface just like a wall just like the trees outside just like the book so a, a irregular reflection so for a parallel beam of light that is being incident on the irregular surface the parallel beam of light that is being incident on the irregular surface reflects back in such a way that the reflected beam is not parallel so the reflected beam is not a parallel one so it gets reflected Okay, so these are the incident rays, incident rays which are parallel, so that is the parallel beam, that is a parallel beam, sorry, okay, so for the incident parallel beam, you have the reflected rays coming out from the rough surface these reflected rays are not parallel they are not parallel so such a reflection is called diffused reflection in this what happens in diffused or irregular reflection in such a reflection you see the objects objects are visible because of irregular or diff diffused reflection just like we see the wall we see the uh, book we see the things around us because there is no regular reflection so we see the objects easily so which takes place from the surfaces of books wall etc whatever we see the things outside let me put this definition in front of you so irregular reflection So in irregular reflection, 
A parallel beam of light traveling through a certain medium on striking air of surface gets reflected in various directions. So there is that such a reflection is called irregular reflection. Then we will go to the next topic. Reflection of light from a plane mirror. So reflection of light from the plane mirror. So before this I will before I write okay. Let me put this in front of you, then I'll explain these points. Okay, now plane mirror. So let me draw the plane mirror. So whenever we are drawing a plane mirror or indicating a plane mirror, so plane mirror has two surfaces. One reflecting surface, another one is the surface on which there is a metallic coating. So the surface which I am drawing these small lines, we call that surface as the rough surface. The other one is the smooth surface or the reflecting surface. This is the reflecting surface for the plane mirror and this is the rough surface. So mirror is made of glass and then it is coated with metals like silver, aluminium and either it may be some alloys which has very good reflecting property and then it is covered with some paint so that the coating of the metals do not get scratched away. So to prevent from scratches it is coated with or protected with a layer of paint. Now for this uh, incident ray. So to make the incident ray I will draw some light coming from a source of light. Let me draw that source. So to explain the reflection of light what I did is I have taken um, this a bulb inside covered with a cardboard box and then made a small opening so that a thin beam of light which is coming from the bulb strikes the mirror surface. So after striking the mirror surface that beam gets reflected back from the mirror. So that beam gets reflected back from the mirror. Good. So we have two beams now so I will say since they are thin so which are just like the path of the light so this is the incident ray and that is the reflected ray the point at which the incident ray strikes the mirror we call it as point of incidence so incident ray is nothing but the ray of light which is coming from the source and that strikes the reflecting surface of the mirror is called incident ray. So the point at which the incident ray strikes the reflecting surface of the mirror is called the point of incidence and the ray which is reflected or sent back from the mirror we call it as the reflected ray. Then we have to assume a perpendicular to the surface of the mirror at the point of incidence. So this is the perpendicular to the surface of the mirror at the point of incidence. So this one is a just line we call it as normal. Normal is imaginary. So we are drawing the normal. The angle made by the incident ray with the normal at the point of incidence we call it as angle of incidence. The angle made by the reflected ray to the normal at the point of incidence we call it as reflected Ray. Let me write this. This is incident ray, reflected ray, and this one is angle of incidence and angle of reflection, angle I and angle R. So I will just go through these points. The ray of light which falls from the mirror, uh, the, from uh, falls on the mirror, is called the incident ray. The point of incidence is the point at which it strikes and reflected ray. The ray which is sent back from the reflecting surface, normal is an imaginary line, which is perpendicular to the surface of the mirror at the point of incidence. So you have the angle of incidence and angle of reflection. Okay, we will see the other topics in the next class. Thank you. Stay stay safe.